The first time I met Mr. Hennings, he actually started as a student teacher here. He was just ready to totally absorb everything there is to learn about teaching. He had come in for his student teaching meeting. I remember leaving that meeting thinking that this is the exact type of person that we need here at Garner. He has a presence about him, very calm, very, you know, professional. Always had a smile, just welcoming. He doesn't say a lot, and he doesn't say anything loudly. You know, when he speaks, people listen. Even though he, he came into the profession later in life, he, he wasn't, you know, he was humble. He wanted to, to learn. Right from the beginning, and I knew that he was, he was going to be a good teacher. Like, I could just tell. I could tell that he was going to be the type of teacher in our department that would be able to nurture relationships. And I was correct. When I walked in, he immediately said hello. He asked me my name. We shook hands. He asked me how my day was. And just instantly, all the nerves from the first day of school just went away. Before I became a teacher, I would say that I was just a country boy from West Tennessee, joined the military at the age of 19. I was in the United States Air Force for 25 years while I worked in the public health. Was able to travel the world, experience different cultures, see different things, and I think those experiences help guide the way I teach. Growing up, I didn't have very many African American male teachers. But to this day, I still remember each and every one of those individuals. So when I was retiring from the military, I felt like that I wanted to go into education because of those individuals. And I was thinking that maybe I could have the same exact impact on these students' lives that those individuals had on mine. 25 years in the Air Force, he could have did anything he yeah. wanted to do, but he felt like he had more to give. Like he could have done just about anything. 2017, not the greatest headlines all the time for public education, mm -hmm. but he came to make a difference, and I think that's what he's done. I don't know, he just helped me with like social things as well as school things. Every time I run into like a problem or a hardship, I think like, how would Mr. Hennings handle this? He encouraged me to use my voice, to speak, to share my opinions. Mr. Hennings has a very unique classroom presence that I've really never seen any anywhere else. He's really good at leading discussions. In a lot of circumstances, we see that as challenging because it's hard to listen to someone else who has a different opinion sometimes because you're so set on your opinion being right that you don't want to listen. But he was able to lead those discussions in a manner that made them civil, but then also where it gave everyone perspectives. It's like they're excited about what they're learning in there and conversations that they're having in there. Teaching is his profession, but it's beyond that. There were a group of students last year who wanted to start an organization. They wanted a safe place where they could talk about issues that affected them on a daily basis. So my role has been showing them ways where they could be involved. And also I just want to give these kids a sense of, a sense of belonging where we found a place where we can come to one another, talk to one another, have fun, fellowship, all those things that make you feel like you're a part of something. It taught me to be a leader. Really give, up, give back to the community. Because of the example that my father set for me, I realized that I have to be the example for the kids here at Garner Magnet High School. My father not only told me how to be a man and how to be a good person, how to be an effective citizen, each and every day he showed me. That let me know that setting the example for my students is something that, that I have to do. As a male of being able to make impact on all students, male, female, white, black, Hispanic, does not matter. He doesn't care. The kids know he doesn't care. It's you as a person. No matter the kid's race, ethnicity, they still look up to him. I think it's his ability to create those personal relationships, very unique relationships with each different person that he comes into contact with and creating that, that culture within the school where, where kids want to come in the building in the morning. It helped me meet friends. It helped me feel good. It's like It made me want to come to school and it made me feel like, okay, I finally have a reason to come here and do well and be well. Fantastic educator, a fantastic teacher in the classroom. Fantastic advisor. He absolutely is a student first educator. I think he's unique. I think he's a rare gem. And he has created a rapport with our students that is something you just don't learn in the School of Education. He's a really good teacher. He's a really good teacher. He's always there for us, the students. I'm very proud to call him my friend and colleague.